Hi. I've just had opportunity to attend the West Coast Symposium on Addictive Disorders. I want to tell you about some of the workshops I attended. It was just fabulous. First of all, in the morning, I attended a lecture on the use of yoga in development of recovery programs. And there is a yoga retreat that you as uh, recovering people can attend. I found the speaker quite interesting and informative. And I will tell you more about it if you want to give me a call. But you know, for years I have been recommending and doing yoga as part of an overeater recovery program. You know, the problem in any of these things is we tend to think one thing is the answer. I think yoga practice is part of the answer and very good. And you know, in the 12-step model, we're asked to do prayer and meditation. Well, yoga is a way that you can practice your meditation as well as being in touch with your body. And it's very helpful for your body and can help heal that mind-body split. Also, yoga is a form of exercise that you can do at any weight. So there's even chair yoga now. If you give me a call, I'll let you know some more about that. Now, during the lunch break for this symposium, I attended a, a, a panel discussion where people were talking about issues for professionals about um, how can you be more than a glorified sponsor? What is the relationship between the person's 12-step recovery program and what you're doing as a professional? That also was quite interesting and brought up many new ideas for me as I've struggled with this issue quite a bit, being a recovering person as well as a treatment professional. At that time, I had opportunity to meet Bobby Mooney, who is director of the Willing Way Treatment Center, and which his father had created. And their staff believe much as I have throughout these years and when I created the Nation's First Eating Disorder Unit, and that is that we do not promote any drugs as a solution to the drug problem. So I think Willing Way is probably one of the last places in the country that is still totally drug-free in its treatment. I admire them greatly for continuing with this. As many of you know, part of the reason I closed my treatment centers many years ago was that insurance companies were requiring use of drugs at that time because, of course, that will help the person get out of the hospital much earlier. My thought about that and what I told the patients was, you know, if you're in a hospital setting, that's the place to really fall apart. This is the place where we have the rubber walls where you can bounce off them as needed. So that wouldn't be the place that I would recommend um, using drugs. Let's get the person totally clean to see who's really down there, way deep down. Now another workshop I attended was led by Jean Campbell, a great psychodramatist who I've worked with in New York. Uh, she's out here in Los Angeles now, uh, and I'm in Palm Springs, as you know. And she did a great job of doing a psychodrama about the theories of change and the stages in change. Uh, well worth seeing and looking up Jean if you get a chance. The final workshop that I attended was led by Terence Daryl Schulman, who has written a number of books about overspending and about stealing and about debting. Excellent, excellent presentation where I really learned a lot. Uh, you know, this interests me because very often people who give up vomiting turn to shoplifting, which was one of his topics. And the reason that shoplifting becomes prevalent, I believe, is the same thing that involves uh, bulimorexia or vomiting. And that is that the person gets to get away with something. So when you take the vomiting away from that person, they still crave that feeling of getting away with something. My case is different. And so shoplifting is a way to act that out. Jerry Shulman has a very good handle on this sort of thing. He's also a colleague of uh, another great person that I work with quite a bit. And uh, these people are well, well worth looking into. So if you want to know more about any of this, give me a call at 800-8-ENOUGH. 
the number 8, E-N-O-U-G-H, or contact me through the webpage.